Should you add the SodaStream Source at home soda maker to your kitchen? We're gonna help you answer that question today here on aromacup.com. Soda Stream, it's the soda maker for your house, Soda Stream. Soda Stream. Yay! <laughs> All right. When you open up the box for the Soda Stream Source Metal Edition at home soda maker, you're going to find your Source Soda Maker, of course. And uh, it's a really sleek looking machine. I love the brushed aluminum on it. Uh, I mean, let's face it, brushed aluminum just looks awesome. Uh, so it's a really cool looking machine. So you'll get the machine itself, of course. You're going to get two one liter bottles. Now these also have these uh, brushed aluminum highlights on the lid and on the ring around the bottom of the bottle, which is pretty cool. And they're completely reusable, which of course is a big point of SodaStream is being able to reuse these bottles. You'll also get your instruction manual, of course, which is going to tell you how to use the machine, but it's pretty straightforward and I'll show you how in just a moment. You will get a sample pack of 12 different SodaStream flavors that you can use with your machine. Each one of these makes a liter of soda. So right out of the box, you get 12 liters of soda that you can make, which is pretty cool because with all those different flavors, of course, you're gonna save a little money, you're not gonna buy 12 liters of soda. There's some money saved already. And then finally, you're going to get a CO2 carbonator bottle. Now these are reusable, they're recyclable. And when you have completely used them up, you're gonna notice that they say reuse, save, save money. You can visit sodastream.com to find out information about how it is that you can reuse these, save some money, and of course, be kind to the earth. So don't throw these away, recycle them. Check out sodastream.com to get some information. That's everything that's going to come in the box with your SodaStream Source at home soda maker. Let's talk about the machine itself. First off, I'm going to talk just about how you actually insert the carbonator bottle onto the Source machine because it might be a little confusing for some viewers at home. I'm gonna flip the machine around and on the back, there's going to be this access panel and I just pull this off. Now this is where your carbonator bottle is going to go. Uh, connecting it to the machine is actually really easy. I take the machine, I lay it down like this, and then on the bottom you're going to find a, a hole. That hole is just the same size really as your carbonator bottle. Slide this in. I'll show this to you guys. Slide it in and now just screw this on. And you don't need to turn it too tight, just get it tightly on there, about finger tight, and then you're good to go. And now the machine is ready to start carbonating. Of course you're going to want to Put your backing panel back on and you're good to go. So with that said, we'll just talk a little bit about the machine itself. There isn't a whole lot to cover. We'll just show you what's on here before we start fizzing some water. Uh, you have your um, carbonation straw right here and this essentially is going to fill uh, your water with CO2, give you your carbonated water. This is also where you're going to attach your bottle. Now you can only use SodaStream bottles with this machine and with any of the SodaStream machines. Don't try to use some other bottle, it's not gonna work. And then you have the carbonator block. Now the carbonator block is what you're going to push down to actually engage the carbonation process. I'm gonna show that to you in a moment because that's really the best way for me to explain it to you guys. Uh, there are three lights that you're going to find on the carbonator block, and you can see there's one, uh, three, and then five right here. So those are the levels of carbonation that you can achieve with the source at home soda maker. And I'll show you how that works. You'll notice there's no power uh, plug or mains plug for this machine. It doesn't actually have an external power source. So it's completely self-contained, which is cool because again, not gonna contribute to a bunch of wires and stuff on your countertop at home. Uh, so that's the machine itself. Now I'm gonna talk about how you can uh, make some soda using the Source at Home Soda Maker. Making soda is real quick and easy with the Source at Home Soda Machine. Let's go ahead and do it. Now I've filled up one of these one liter bottles with some cold water. It's good to use cold water because it's really gonna give you the best possible beverage. Take the lid off of that. Now just uh, flip this carbonator head forwards and insert the bottle. And once it's been inserted, just push forward. Now it's locked in there. I can let go and it's gonna stay right there. Now I just need to choose how much carbonation I wanna to add to the water. Let's say that I want a light carbonation. I'm just gonna press the carbonation block down until I see this light, this single light light up. And then I'm gonna pull that block back up and the carbonation is gonna finish. So here we go. 
and that's it. Now I've got a light carbonation on the water. Let's say I want to go for kind of a medium carbonation. I'm going to repeat the process and hold this down till I see the middle uh, set of lights light up the three lights. And that's it. Now if I wanted to continue, I could hold that block down after I have done the medium carbonation process, hold it down until I have all five of these lights lit up, pull the carbonation block up, and I'm done. So it's actually very simple to use when you get right down to it. After you've chosen your level of carbonation, you can add your flavor to your carbonated water. Just use one of your sample packs or any of the other various options for adding flavor to your carbonated water from SodaStream. Boom, you've got soda at home. What is the SodaStream source going to cost you to add to your kitchen at home? You're looking at about $99.99. So not too bad for especially this metal edition that looks really classy, comes with the two bottles and the sampler pack. Uh, really not a bad deal, especially considering that you're gonna save some money because you're not gonna be buying soda all the time. And of course, if you wanna find out where you can get the SodaStream source at home soda maker, check out the link in the description of our video. What's my bottom line with the SodaStream Source at Home Soda Maker? I think it's really awesome, looks really cool, looks really classy, comes with a lot of stuff to get you started, really nice intro price, and if you enjoy soda, whether it be you know classic soda or maybe you like just making carbonated water and adding some simple fruit juice flavors to it, I think it's a really cool way to do that at home, save some money, and of course not be contributing to tons of plastic waste, and that way you can be kind to the earth as well uh, and i really just think overall very cool machine and a great price overall so if you're looking to add one of these to your kitchen at home of course check out the link in the description of our video and if there's anything that i missed or if you guys have questions comments or anything else get in touch in the comments on this video or of course on aromacup.com so there you have it guys that is the soda stream source at home soda maker coming to you from of course soda stream you can find out more information about them at sodastream.com as always, guys, I want to thank you for joining me here at aromacup.com. Enjoy your cup, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Are you looking for some great tips and tricks to find out how you can get the most out of your soda stream at home soda maker, save some money, and get the best possible beverages? Well, that's what we're going to show you today here on aromacup.com. Don't, don't try to fizz Jack Daniels. All right. <clears throat> we really should try fizzing a whole thing of Jack Daniels. Just to do it. That would be awesome. All right. <clears throat>